you guys can tell, I am not wearing stripes. That's because we're back with our waterfront properties with the dog series. $50,000 contraption. Yes, this home does have an elevator. Welcome to my dream closet. This series gives us a chance to arrive to a property by boat. And this week we partner up with Schaefer Yachts to bring us to this beautiful property. We on board of Schaefer V33. Say hello to our host, Amber and Saul. And we're gonna give you a quick tour of this yacht. As always, we start at the stern. So right next to me, I have our swim ladder. It would feel so good to go for a swim right now because it's like 97 with, I don't know, 90% humidity. But at least it's not raining. So we have two swim platforms outside of the outboards, two 400 Mercury's in the back. So that gets us going pretty fast, actually. And then we have this amazing tow bar already right here. Also a little bit of a safety because you stand behind, you can hold on to it. But for all the water toys, it's already free equipped for it. So you can tow like a fun banana or something behind it. Any inflatable, like a donut, oh, whatever it is. Yeah. Fun. All right. Well, I'm sure you've seen some of our tours of Schaefer Yachts. They have lots of bells and whistles. So we'll quickly run through and show you some of the fun stuff. You just walk by the transom shower right there. Perfect. This little transom door can close. You have them on both sides. That's right. It's nice and protected. If you have kids, dogs, pretty awesome. So we're sitting area for four here. There's a storage underneath here that opens up this way. Then we also have a bit of a storage here that opens up this way. This table is convertible. We can open it up. How cool is that? And it's a high-low table. Exactly, because we have really cool cushion that goes right in here. There's like a couple little support. support things that go on each side and then this opens up and then you can have a really nice big layout cushion here. This is a convertible backrest, pretty cool. Check that out. And come and sit forward. You can fold this down as well. And this whole space becomes one giant layout cushion. We have a shade that goes right here, so completely shade this area, a really nice napping spot. That's right, so actually here are the receptacles. We have a shade for the aft and we have a shade for the bow, which we're gonna show in a second. Then we have our outdoor little galley here. We've got a sink, we've got deep top-loading fridge freezer. You can switch it up how you want. We have a fridge here and then a little bit of a stemware storage here. And in a typical Brazilian fashion, build-in trash can. Okay, close this up and see what we can find there. This is a really cool feature on the Schaefer V33. It's a little boarding step, so it makes it really easy to get in and off the boat. We have our pop-up cleats, nice build-in storage for our shades. And then as we go forward, you guys can see a receptacle here and there. So this whole area becomes shaded. It's super nice, especially in this Floridian weather. We have a big layout cushion here for two with cup holders. These are exactly. very cute. How cute are these? Check it out. Yep. So Love then it. all the way forward, the anchor is nicely tucked away, actually. It pops out like this, folds over, and then you can use your anchor. And on the way back, you just do it the other way around, secure it with a chain and it's not rumbling around, actually very nicely secured. This is just storage for fenders and also the breaker switch for the windlass. Foot remote switches for the windlass. Ready to check out the interior? Yes. Okay, let's do it. Hang on, hang on. We also have this hatch here. Oh, that's right. So this is a really cool feature. You can open up this hatch. It's pretty large. Yep. And you can see right into our cabin down there. So if you open it up, it creates a really nice cross brace. Especially at anchor. But you can also have an air conditioning down there. Correct. Speaking of air conditioning, shall we? All right, let's check out the interior. We only have a few minutes before we arrive around the house, but this is going to be a quick tour anyway. It's not a huge space, but you do have a proper cabin that you could easily spend a weekend. So this can turn into, a, looks like almost a queen size bed. Mm -hmm. They have this nice storage out here, pretty cute. We have all the storage here, tons behind you. If you turn around and show all that. Tons of storage here. We have the battery switches here, Victron monitor here. And then this one is actually equipped with a battery powered air condition system. <laughs> Lithium ion batteries, so you can run the air condition 
through the night without having any generator or engines on. Check. Pretty really cool. nice feature. All right. This is the hatch we just saw from the exterior. You open that out, you get the breeze through. It's amazing. And we have a head, which is also really nice to have. We got the head here, have the shower right there. So it is a wet head, sink, a porthole to open and uh, the mirror here on the forward wall. Pretty good size for the size of the vessel. All right, we are here. This is our beautiful multi-million dollar mega mansion that we're about to tour. We're about to dock. We're coming in from the water. You guys know how we do it. And I wanted to point out, this is the intercoastal. So it's all deep water, ocean access, and then we have lots of dock space on the property but we get into the details once we are on the property so right now we're just ducking it's directly on intercoastal which is a pretty fantastic feature so you come in with a pretty big boat here there's a 52 foot boat sitting there right now and it looks kind of small and there's a lot of dock left <laughs> well huge thank you to Schaefer Yachts for bringing us to this beautiful property and uh, we're gonna dock now Amber's on the bow line look at this dock and it's got glass all around, check it out. So you come from lunch and you just go back home by boat. That's Florida living. Ready? And that's how you arrive in style. Bye guys! Perfect. Thanks for the ride. Thanks for the ride. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. This is such a beautiful property. And let's start with why we're here. The most important feature for us boaters is the dock. So this is a corner lot with 190 feet just on the canal side. By ordinance, we gotta keep five feet on each side when docking. So in reality, we have 180 feet of usable dock right here. We have a 24 foot beam allowance by ordinance, which also allows us to easily put here like 95 100 footer Easy. depending yes. on the boat so we've got a six foot draft again we just recently toured some 90 footers that had a really small draft so there are definitely some opportunities here or you just do what these guys do you have a couple of smaller boats that you can put here come with me there's more so this is a 52 footer like Rico said and it looks like nothing here it looks tiny so you guys can see everything is glass fenced in here because the current owner has kits and just wanted to prove it that nothing can happen. This is a very expensive feature, right? Of course you can remove it and get rid of it if you don't want it, but it is really expensive to put it in and it's pretty amazing that it already has that. So we have currently shore power installed here, 250 amp outlets. And then we also have a floating dock. How cool is that? So if you want to go paddle boarding, kayaking, if you want to put anything in the water here, I mean, in reality, you can also attach a couple of cleats to it, right? And just come up with a jet ski or with a smaller boat just to dock for a little bit. And then we do have the jet ski docks here, which are just roll on docks. So that's pretty convenient as well. Keep them out of the water, just on float. And that's only one side of this incredible property. Then there's this whole other side there. First, let's go meet Cameron, our realtor. Cameron. Victoria. We're here. We Did are. Did you see how well, fashionably we arrived? Incredible. It's the only way to arrive to this Absolutely. kind of property. <laughs> so Cameron, is a realtor real estate agent? What's the preferred thing right now in the industry? You know what? We always call ourselves realtors realtor. or, you know, real estate sure agents. Know. It's all the same in my opinion. Okay, so tell us about the house. Yeah, so Skies Estate actually boasts just over 14,000 square feet total featuring six bedrooms, nine bathrooms, not to mention it's actually controlled wirelessly anywhere throughout the world via a Savant smart home system. Surveillance cameras all around the exterior as well as the interior. So at any given moment, whether you're in town or out of town, you can be watching your entire property. Even when you're not here, you can light up the entire home from anywhere in the world. I love that just to mess with your neighbors. Like, wait, they're home. <laughs> oh, you know, you see, you see something on the camera and you're like, okay, you Whoa. know what, well, let's, uh, let's turn the lights on. Exactly, love exactly. How big is this lot? Yeah, so it's just over in half an acre. It's a 0.57 actually. It feels so much bigger. It's a corner lot and that definitely makes it feel significantly larger. You know, and as you can see, you have tons of water frontage here, which is going to be very important to most of the owners. Speaking of that, we still have yet to go check out that 
140 foot dock on the other side? Oh yeah, you gotta go check that out and don't forget the putting green on the side. Awesome, so we'll see you at the end of the tour to check out the front yard together with us. Beautiful, enjoy. I'll see you on a few. Thanks Thank Cameron. You. Thank you. Okay, let's go check out 140 foot dock. How long does it take me to walk that? Yeah, so you don't really need to go to the gym on the Stairmaster. You can just jog around your property. What? I mean, <laughs> I, did we talk about the pool and all of this? No, when we, did we have do that? not. We have not. Check so we this have out. a resort style pool. Really beautiful, actually, the way it's curving around. I love the setup. You have the shallow area here. You got a hot tub built in right there. What's that? Like a swim up bar. It's a swim up bar. Love it. I like how the owners painted this palm trees. I don't know what they did to it, but it looks pretty cool. Okay, let's go look at that dock. Oh, there's this camera, which I saw earlier. So Hello? it follows you when you walk, keep, look, 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 <gasps> look, look. Oh, weird. So we don't just have the safety glass here for the intercoastal and the canal side. We also have it for the pool. And here they kept it actually nicely low to not interfere too much. It actually blends in really well. It's also really nice if you have a really windy day. You have a lot of wind protection when you're in a pool. Cool hanging chairs right here. Oh, there's our little golfing spot he's talking about. How cool is that? You want to check out how good you are, if you can do it or not? I know almost nothing about golf. All right, give it a shot. Way too fast. Oh, oh yeah, that yeah, was yeah, close. Yeah, yeah. One more, one more. Okay, one more. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh so close. Almost. All right, let's go. We have a huge house to tour. Huge house to tour. So one thing I wanted to point out, as you guys can see, all these little contraptions here on the floor all over the place are speakers. So the entire exterior is decked out with speakers and sound system. You can play some of your favorite music when you lounge at the pool or when you do some putting here at the putting green. So we have our fresco dining right here. There's access to a really nice, ah, I'm not going to give it away. Yeah, no, not, you have to wait away, until we get it away. in the interior. So then we have our exterior living room. Or should we just call it the cockpit? Yeah, I think this is our cockpit. <laughs> this, oh, is our, this, our, deck. this is our cockpit. This chair keeps like pointing to you for you to sit down. I know, I should. See, I'm going like this and it just keeps and you know coming what? back. Okay. It's not just turning, it's also <gasps> rocking. No. Yeah. Oh, that's just wrong. I know, right? Outdoor TV. Yeah. Extremely bright. You can watch your favorite sports during the day. Bright sunlight, no problem. Cameron said it's 85 inch. 85 inch, damn. And it is a really expensive piece of equipment and it is staying with the house. Cool outdoor fireplace. Speaking of the fireplace, check out those fireballs they're on right now. We have two fans overhead. And then we have, what's that, then a center there, you know? Is it an AC unit? That's an air-conditioned unit, no. exactly. So we have an air-conditioned unit here. And this entire space, we can... The suspense is killing me, what? Oh. You're like in cahoots with Cameron. You already found out all the cool features <laughs> while I was trying to figure out the So you out. can screen in this space here. Wow. Which still allows the wind to come through a little bit, but... Once you turn the AC on, you put the screens down, it helps it keep the cool air in here. And you can actually sit outside and very comfortable. I think it's time to go check out the interior. 14,000 square feet. Ready? Yes. Let's do it. Welcome to this super grand space. I mean, it's called the, wait, the great room? The great room. I call it the super the grand, grand room. The super grand room. 25 foot ceilings. Wow. It is absolutely gorgeous. A little birdie told me there's some crazy chandelier that's actually coming into here. I like how they did it. It's very minimal here, but you can go as big as you want. There's so much space, so much room. Got a fireplace? Which way do we go? Um, this way. This way. So, well, first of all, let's walk in into this office. How about this? adding space. I love the color choices. It is beautiful. It is huge as well. This is a massive desk. It doesn't even feel that big. You have an amazing view. Right to the intercoastal, the pool. Wouldn't you like to work in here? I amazing. Would. Where am I going to leave my glasses so I remember later? You guys, in I'm the leaving office. them in the office. Look, right here. Just remind me when I'm trying to figure out where I left my glasses because this house is giant. All right, let's keep going. Double entrance, there's pocket doors right here. Yeah. So we have a bit of storage right here. I am gonna really contain myself and not open up everything because it is huge. Let's massive. go. Okay, fine. 
starting with the really fun room first. Oh wow, look at Don't look there first. Don't look, don't look there. Okay, 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 okay. Check it out. There's another family room. So this is really a game room. So this is your entertainment space. You've got a giant bar. There's really nice sofa here with a huge, like, I don't know, what is this, 85 inch? Probably. Looks like it, yeah. You guys put it in the comments. I think it's 85 inch. I love the lighting. So you can change all these lights to be a different color. That's then right. So the whole house is a smart home. We have two systems installed here with the touch pads in all the major rooms. So you can control your blinds, you can control your lights, you can control your air condition, your entertainment system. Should I keep going or? No, I think we're good. <laughs> we got that. So we have a pool table here. We have a really nice bar. How cool is that? Again, with a huge TV. I don't think it's as big as that one, but also massive. We've got a wine fridge and a fridge right here. So you kind of and have then we do everything have for entertaining. The accessibility to the deck. So you have your alfresco dining space and you can just easily service it from here as well. And then wow, <laughs> an elephant wow. in the room. Wow. Can we talk wow. about this? I don't know, $150,000 contraption. It does not come with this house. The owner loves it so much. He's definitely taken it with him, but Come on, isn't that everyone's dream? I would love to try this out. Really would love to. I've seen it in action on like the conference. What, think, do, you, what do you call these? I like think a tech actually shows? Super Cam Blondie did an episode oh, about really? this as well. Yes. Okay, maybe that's where I've seen it. It looks insane, but yeah, to have this at your house, it is look pretty at, amazing. Look at, look at the setup. Are you kidding me? All right, focus on the house. All right, focus back on the, to back the house. To the house. We've got something really, really cool coming up as well, which the whole family will enjoy. All right. Uh, 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 oh, wait, wait, wait. That's not it. What's this? Oh, the gym. Also really important space. Proper gym with the rubberized floor. Yeah, so of course you can fill it in with any equipment you like. An amazing view from the gym. Check this out. Big that sliding doors. 140 foot of dock comes handy here. You can just stare at boats go by while you're working out. How amazing. And then this is a big sliding door. I don't know if you. <gasps> oh my God, you can open this up. That. You can open this completely up. So yeah. in the winter, you can just nicely open it up, have a beautiful breeze while you're working out. Love it. Meditation, whatever you want to do. All right, let's go see that second fun room. Well, first of all, kind of important closet. We have a little powder room here. I like saying powder room, but never get a chance to say powder room. A day head. A powder room right here, really beautiful. Love this countertop. That services obviously our fun room here, our game room. And then check out this space here. Oh, Maybe wow. that gives you an idea of what's to come. Look at this, a whole room for servers, amplifiers, controls all the brains for the savant system. This is what makes me very excited. Smart home setup, pretty cool. I want to have a server room okay, are you when I grow up. Are you ready for this? Yes. What Come do we got? On no way. What? Look we at that. We have a theater room. So we have sitting for 13. For the people who fall asleep watching a movie, this is very convenient and very comfortable. <laughs> it's just so bright in here. Can we make it a little less bright? Sure. So we have this whole control system here where we can completely change the color to Ooh. red, for example. Wow, that looks cool. Like, go blue, go blue. There we go. I went blue. <sighs> that is pretty cool. What do you think? Do we really have to see the rest of the house? Can you just go? You want to watch a movie? Go do it and I'll meet you in the owner's suite because that's definitely really worth seeing. But for now, I can just watch whatever this is. All right, let me make it a little brighter again so we can see something. Also, the headrests are adjustable as well. I don't know if you noticed that. Oh my God, this is heaven. All right, well, I guess we should go. Let's check out the rest of the okay, house. Okay, let's do it. Put it in the comments. Would you guys want to have a home movie theater at your house? Is this a dream item or is it like, hmm, who needs that or they go to the movies? Did we mention this extremely high end projector? So this could go with the house for the right price, or if not, I think the owner loves it a lot. So he <laughs> might take it with him, but it is a really expensive item. I think I would pay the money to keep it. Okay, let's go. We're back to our center of the house. Can we talk about this? Perfectly positioned right dead center to where both of these docks come together, right? Right in that corner point. Yep. So the house was built with that in mind. So it has this beautiful vantage point. Yeah, it's actually perfectly aligned. So we have our formal dining here set for eight. Everything is just nice and open. Ten. <gasps> set for 10. 
can count today apparently and then we have our little foyer here and our family room because you know in case you want to hang out closer to the kitchen i think this is when you're entertaining you spend a lot of time with your friends and stuff i don't know how big this tv is but it's also got to be like 85 inches or something easy right? yeah yeah you just walk by something super important oh what do we got there it's an elevator yes this home does have an elevator which I know for a lot of you is a must have when you have such a beautiful, huge house. So when you're done with the movie marathon you did in the movie theater, yeah. you can't walk up the stairs anymore. You got an <laughs> elevator, fantastic. All right, I'm gonna go check out the galley. Okay, let me go and check out the galley too, but well, I'm gonna take go? a different approach to it. We have this saloon door here. So this is like a butler's pantry here. It's actually a walk-through pantry ah. where you have direct access from the kitchen to the dining table. Well, this is really cool. I mean, this is like a stew's pantry that you will have on the super yacht. Exactly. Which is, you definitely want to have here as well. Great for service. There is a little drink fridge here. Very nice. You can set this up any way you want. Not going to open anything, you guys. There is just so much storage. It is crazy. It will take us all day. Okay, then we're coming into our galley. I mean, kitchen. It feels almost naughty saying kitchen. <laughs> okay, we have a huge, huge fridge freezer. Both sub-zero. Wow. All of that is storage. I'll definitely need a little step stool to get up there. We have tons of drawers here. Open one up just to see how deep it is. Oh, look, a nice professional oven. Every chef will be very happy with this. Then we have our microwave oven, the sink. All of that is storage. Oh, wow. <laughs> Six, six burner cooktop, gas, and a grill in the middle. Look what they have here. A pot filler, yeah. I know you love these. Love these pot Proper fillers. Hood. And I then you this... still have your ovens underneath the range. I was just going to say, this is kind of a small sink for the size of a kitchen. And then I realized that you have this huge one right here. That's correct. And then wow. can we talk about the size of this island, please? Talk about it. <laughs> it is... What's there to say? It's huge. It's... I think it's the largest island I have seen so far. Yeah, like if you make a drink, you're going to go... Yep. Right? There's no way to pass it. Really nicely done. I like how it's completely open. I mean, anywhere in the house you are, you have this incredible view everywhere. There's not a single room so far that we've seen that you don't have this incredible water views, which is what you want from a waterfront home. So for me, like I personally like to cook, for example, I would have my prep space right here next to the sink. You know, you have the water views. Why don't you say times. we like to cook? I like to cook too. We, we like to cook, I cook. Because you pushed me out of the kitchen. <laughs> all right, let's keep going. So from all this cooking, you kind of get tired when you read a book. There's a perfect nook for this here with a little lounger. Wow. All right. Then, what's this? Oh, this is pantry. If you haven't been pantried out yet, there is more storage space. Oh my God. Right here. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, keep moving. We have a lot more to see. Fine! We're walking by our second staircase, which we're gonna check out in a moment. I wanted to keep saying starboard, but... Okay. What is this? Which way are we the, walking? The port wing. I mean, the depending from which way you came into the house. Yeah, that's true. So if you come through the front entrance, this mm, is the starboard side true. of the house. That's true. This is confusing. All right, so we've got another powder room here. We have a toilet here. How Beautiful. Yeah, I love this. Ag is really, really nice. Backlit. How cute is that? Bedazzled. What's this storage? Probably. We're not opening storages. Okay, and then we keep going. Okay, I might get lost eventually. Is this all really storage? This is insane. Yes, all storage. <laughs> okay. So this is our first bedroom. This is the only bedroom on the main deck. The main yes, deck. Yes, on the main deck. On the main floor. And it has a beautiful view and it comes with its own dedicated exterior terrace. And it has an outdoor shower. <gasps> no. Yes. I gotta go see. Right <gasps> no way. Here. Oh, this would be my guest room if I was a guest here. Do you here. think it's working? No. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it would feel really, really good right now. Like really, really cold water. But how cool is this space? Beautiful, really. Take a cup of coffee, come out here in the morning. I love it. Okay. Of course, we have a walk-in closet. I'm not gonna expect anything but a walk-in out of this incredible house so big walk-in closet i mean in my book it's big i don't know in the grand scheme of these kind of houses not sure but wow look how tall the ceilings are 
And we have three person shower. Yeah. Okay. And I guess for a mega mansion, it's just a proper size shower. Ready? Yes. Keep and then going. of course, all blinds are electric again. This seems like there should be a piece of art hanging right here. That's right. Set for or it. Or sitting. Storage. Storage. One of the garages. Okay, so that's one garage. Two car garage, it could be easily turned into a four car garage. That's right. We will demonstrate that in a second. That's our front yard. Correct. Access to the front yard, which we're going to cover in the end of the tour. Who needs the front yard? The front yard should be that. That should be the backyard. When you live a boating lifestyle, that should be the front yard. Check this out. Garage number two, and here are the lifts installed actually. So this makes us a four car garage. Every time I see these, I know they use every day. It just freaks me out. You I just drive like on it. It stops you automatically when I, you get into this rail. But when it rail. goes up is what freaks me out. Well, you get out of the car, you just put it up. Well, obviously you get out of the car. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is our first laundry. This is our main back laundry. This is basically what we're gonna have. Just that way right. around, right? So you have your laundry here that's servicing this floor. And then we're gonna go all the way back to our grand staircase. I'm gonna go up. And then look at the steps. As you go up, <gasps> they start oh, lighting no up. Way. Yes. Look, it knows that I'm here. Oh, How cool beautiful. is that? Okay. okay. Let's go up. Welcome to the second floor. So we have a secondary family area here. Which is on a super yacht would be below deck, would be your um, guest deck. Yeah. It's kind of reversed in the house, right? Okay, let's go and check out the starboard side <laughs> of the house. Hey, hang on. Look at this, this is kind of cool. I love the chandelier. So we have another bedroom on this side, also with beautiful view. We have windows here and look at this. Oh, we gotta go check this out. You have your own private balcony. Wow. Well, I mean, it's private-ish because you also share it with, I don't know, like Family, a- Family, room area, the upper salon. <laughs> I'm gonna the call it the upper, upper salon. salon. Hey, it matches. Yes. Gorgeous space, wow. The view is incredible. This will never get old. No. I absolutely love it. You know, Inner Coastal is really wide here. Yeah. So you have really nice water views, not just a small channel like you have on the side, you actually can see way further. Just wait until you see the owner suite. The primary is off the chart. We have a walk-in closet here as well, a little bit smaller than the other room. And then here is a really nice bathroom. Wow. So we have a separate toilet, really big countertop space here, four-person shower. <laughs> wow. It is a very large shower for sure. I just can't believe how tall everything is. It just feels so big. Nice and airy. And then yes. what about the soaker top here? Look. Soaker? Soaker. No. Soaking. Soaking. Not a soaker. Are you sure? I, <laughs> I think you can call it soaker top. You can call it so yeah. soaker? Yeah. I think Ennis always says soaker top. Like soccer? Like no, you no. play soccer? Soaker. He does not. Stop. It. People, please comment on this. Is this a soaker top or a soaking top? We got to speed it up. All right, let's There's speed it up. a lot more to see. Okay, so back to our upper salon. We're going to call it that because I think it's the most appropriate. Check this out. You even have a nice little Juliet balcony here. To the front yard. So in case you want to spy on your neighbors, that would be the spot. Yep. Right? So here we also have a drink fridge and a sink. Mm -hmm. So if you want to entertain here, you have a little bar. And that's our doors that we saw. Then we're coming into our princess room. Wow. Oh, no way. I would call it the unicorn room. Look at this. Wow. Is this all painted? Yes. This definitely looks like it was commissioned by an artist and wow. it is beautiful. This is probably one of the coolest ceiling fans I've ever seen. I 100% agree. This looks so cool. Never seen this before. If we ever ended up on land, I want to have one of these fans. Ceiling fan like this? Yes. Well, there's a second one like this right here. I love it. Look at this room. This room is amazing. Okay, wait. Really so, cool. Gotta do some lights. Walk in closet for the princess. Princess in training, right? Or queen in training, should I say? And then, oh, it's all automatic lights. Nice touch. You know what? Automatic lights for kids' room is a smart idea because mm -hmm. <laughs> kids always forget to turn it off. Wow, it's even a bigger shower. I don't even know. It's a huge shower. I mean, of course, if you don't have kids, you can turn this into a very, very nice guest room. Mm -hmm. 
which actually could have almost its own like office attached to it or some kind of extra space almost like a um, in-law suite it's yep. really really nice check this out there's a slide on the bed i was gonna say you want to try it and then i realized that's not gonna end well it's probably not um, mm, rated for my not weight rated for your weight <laughs> Look at this balcony here. So like I said, right? Like a cool in-law suite. It's almost like a separate wing because right there, if you just do a little sneak peek, you've got the primary. The owner suite has its own separate balcony. I love this one has a fireplace built in. So you can come out here and be like, hello. But also, oh, there's a secondary door there. Secondary okay, got door, it. yeah. It's a really um, beautiful, beautiful terrace. So it's not really a balcony, it's a terrace, right? Terrace, it's, a, yeah. it's a covered terrace. Yeah. With it's a fan as well. With the fan, exactly. It is gorgeous. I mean, look, the resort style pool. It's obviously beautiful. The views are amazing. The palm trees, just fantastic. How many more bedrooms do we have? I am not sure, but I let's have keep going. Lost count. So we saw one, two, three. This is number four here? I think I so. I must count. So then this must be a closet. And you can always sleep in the movie theater. So this is our elevator where it drops us off. And then you have that secondary access there to the terrace. Then we have another bedroom here, another room, however you wanna use this. Maybe this is a secondary office for someone, you know, like Rico who loves offices, but it's never in the offices. He just what? likes the idea of having an office, but it's never in it. But it also could be like a crafts room or kids playroom, even though there was a huge kids playroom. But I'm just saying like any idea you want to put in here, this is your space. Comes with an ensuite. Yes, you have a walk-in closet here. Wow, super nice. An easy three, four person shower. Shower, shower. <laughs> it's like echoing, yes. And we are on our, what we learned this word? What, what is it called? Catwalk. Catwalk. We are back in the great room slash entrance area. And you can see from here how tall this is. Unbelievable. And this view, I mean, I would not get tired of that view, to be honest. Which side would you stand to greet your guests? I know you have this weird idea of how you want to greet people. Right, right here oh, on the have, other side? No, no, I would have a door buzzer, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. So when somebody comes, I would just be up here, very casually, leisurely, like leaning against this here. And then? And just be like, Oh, I thought you're just yeah. gonna wait until they walk in and they don't know where you are and you go, hey! No. <laughs> Get like a super soaker. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Stop. Keep going. Okay. You guys ready to see the owner suite? It is really sweet. But before we do, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, write us a couple of comments. You guys know we don't charge anything for any of our yacht tours, so we greatly appreciate it if you take a second and do that. That is the biggest help you can give our channel to keep going. And of course, you can join us on the Patreon. Let's cool. do it. Did you hit the like button? Okay, good. Now we can do it. Have a nice double doors here. It's a teaser to the owner suite. Yes. So we have our own little living room that if you're just totally tired, sick and tired of your family, you can another, just close your doors. <laughs> another flat screen, another fireplace. Yes, and you can just have really nice relaxing wine. You put your kids to bed and you just want to have a glass of wine with your husband or with your wife. Watch Naughty Styles on the YouTube channel. This is a Naughty Styles room. Okay, <laughs> then, oh wait, this opens up to this terrace. So actually there is a door right there which opens up right here and also in the primary. Do we do it now? Let's do it now. Okay. Okay, come on out. As I mentioned, you can just go wave at your friends that are staying on the other side. And then we have this balcony that almost like wraps around right here. So you have three different ways to enter it, which is Correct. pretty cool. Got a drop down TV from the ceiling right oh, there. Wow. So if you want to sit out here and watch Naughty Styles, you can do that too. This house is perfect for watching Naughty Styles in every room. How about the water views? Isn't that a cool spot to just literally hang out and watch the boats go by? Like I said, it's the intercoastal, so you have a lot of boats going A by. lot of action. This area, you can go faster, so it's pretty cool to see go, it's just boats speeding by. Back into the air condition. suite. A really nice air condition. I love the shape of this ceiling. It is so cool. They really played with shapes, you know, like the bookshelves are matching the yep. ceiling. Okay, ready? Ready. Ta-da! Wow, that is a proper owner suite. What about these windows? Okay, oh, I have look. not at the windows yet. Pretend that you're waking up there. Yep. And check out your view. Sunrises should be just right there. Sunrise should be somewhere over there, over there, depending somewhere on the time here. of the year. 
So this is pretty beautiful when you wake up. You just wake up with the sun and then you still have an opportunity to watch the sunset on the other side. Yep. You in the moment. Speaking of being right on the inner coastal, how cool is this? We just actually have a pretty good sized boat going by. This is what your every day will look like. You just look at super yachts going by. You don't by. even need binoculars. No. Nope. It's just incredible. This is actually an Ocean Alexander 112. Front row. Okay. Yeah, really cool. Oh, we have another balcony here. Come on now. Completely separate balcony, actually. So you actually could see all the way there. You really have options, you know? Sunset's gonna be somewhere there, so all this beautiful pink sky is gonna be lit up. Amazing. Love it. Okay. The second best part, the chandelier is pretty cool as well. Second best part is gonna be on this side. Rico, this is gonna be your space. That's my side? All of this is your space. Oh, okay. So we have a gigantic walk-in closet. Oh, the lights just came on. Hello. Just automatically. You would not be able to fill this ever. Is that a fridge? Where? There. What? No, it's a, a ironing system. Oh. <gasps> wow, this is so cool. I've never seen one in person. Only in like YouTube videos. This is amazing. I've not seen one yet. <gasps> so cool. The little Juliet balcony here. A dual vanity. I don't know why you would need a dual vanity all by yourself. A urinal. Mm -hmm. That's unique. I've never seen that before in a private house. And then we go in through our Jack and Jill. So we got a rain shower head overhead. Yes. And then each has their own side. I love to it. To shower parallel. Probably a six person shower, if not eight, Big size bench. wise. Yes. And then, of course, we have our bidet here, toilet. And welcome to my space. We have a soaking tub. I only have a one vanity for some reason. I don't know why you have two. And because then you have more storage space for makeup huge and countertop. perfumes and... Really nice. And then... Ready? Ready. Welcome to my dream closet. Wow. Okay, there's some really cool things here. What do you think this is for? Handbags. Jewelry. It's definitely jewelry. I think it's handbags. Jewelry. Handbags. Jewelry. <laughs> Wait, ready? Yeah. Oh, check that. Oh, wow. It's the whole back wall that's actually lighting this up. This is for your shoes and handbags. This is really and cool. And then we have all of this space. Oh, ladies, I know you want me to open things. Wow. I mean, come on. And then wait, 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 right here, right here. Look, 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 look. Hampers. Laundry hamper. All of this is jewelry. Look at this. So all the jewelry. Wow. Why are you getting so excited? You don't wear jewelry except for a couple I of watches. I want to walk in closet like this. I would have a, oh, really? a humidor in there and cigars. And you even have your own balcony of the walk-in closet. Who has that? You have a little balcony. You can have your own cigar Amazing. thing there. Let me turn this off. Yep. Let's go find Cameron and go check out the front yard. Because as much as, you know, we will probably never ride by car if we lived in this house. You still need to have an option. Another thing which I forgot to mention because I was so excited walking through the house, this house is equipped with speakers everywhere. And the cool thing is most of them you don't see at all because they're hidden in ceiling panels, but that well that you cannot tell where the speakers are unless you look at the diagram which the integrator actually created for the house. Coming down our grand staircase going down which also lights up as you're going down, as you guys can see. Okay, you must be outside already. Cameron, I'm sorry yep. it took us so long. It's a giant house. It's a big house. It takes a little while, but it's worth it. We said like, Cameron, we'll be like 20 minutes. We'll see you outside. How long are you be standing out here? Uh, you know, it feels like a couple sorry. hours later. <laughs> So this is our front yard. This is the front yard. So to us as boaters, it's well, kind of me, a little, little get, bit of an interest. Let me get oh, the yeah. other perspective yes. so we actually yes. have the yeah, house Yeah, you gotta behind. get the whole perspective. Yeah. Yes, but you know. I understand that you will come by car quite a bit. Absolutely. So tell us what's going on here. You said there's a little project coming up? Yeah, so we actually have a little project that we're working on. So right behind you, we're actually going to have a wall installed. So there's gonna be a wall going from end to end huh. and then two gates. So nice. it gives you just a little bit more, you know, privacy. Makes sense. You can keep the cars here. Nobody really needs to see the cars. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you got to hide the exotics. Yeah. So we have a front entrance and, oh, there's like a little side gate there. Yeah, so there's a gate on the side. We actually have a gate on each side. Okay. And then also there's two two-door garages. 
which we saw already on the interior. That's which is, right. Could be an eight car garage. Absolutely. And well, once again, tons of surveillance on the front. Well, there you guys have it. I hope you enjoyed this tour, Cameron. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. Appreciate please, you coming. Please have us thank again. you so much. Rico, <laughs> thank you. You guys, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and do the share, and you know, all the good stuff. All and, that good stuff. And yes. If you guys are interested in this property, it is for sale. All the information will be in the description below. Absolutely. Give us a call. See you in the next one. Ciao. <laughs> Yeah, and over on the side, we actually have a four-door garage. <laughs> and that's it. We got two two-door garages, actually, <laughs> actually <laughs> no?